In part one of the text, the story revolves around a new trader who is excited and ambitious about trading in the stock market. This trader, referred to as New Trader, has high expectations of doubling his $10,000 trading account quickly and achieving extraordinary returns. He is influenced by trading gurus and believes trading is a straightforward math-based endeavor. However, New Trader seeks advice from Rich Trader, an experienced trader. Rich Trader explains that achieving such high returns is not as simple as it seems. He cautions New Trader about the risks and volatility of the market, emphasizing the importance of having a sound trading system and managing risk. Rich Trader advises New Trader to focus on building a strong foundation and gaining education in trading rather than chasing quick profits. Ultimately, Rich Trader suggests that a realistic goal for a good trader is to aim for annual returns of 10% to 25% or more, with exceptional years possibly reaching 50% returns. He emphasizes that trading is a profession that requires learning practice, and discipline, likening it to other professions where education and experience are crucial. The passage ends with Rich Trader quoting Jesse Livermore, highlighting that easy money is elusive in trading and that success comes through hard work and discipline. Rich Trader also recommends reading New Trader 101 for further guidance on stock market trading. In part 2 of the text, the focus shifts to New Trader's experience with stress and decision-making during live trading. New Trader becomes anxious as he watches his stock's price fluctuate, leading to impulsive trading decisions that result in losses. After a stressful trading experience, New Trader seeks advice from Rich Trader on how to manage stress while trading. Rich Trader emphasizes that stress often stems from unknown variables, fear of loss, uncertainty about market trends, and the pressure to make money. He suggests that traders can reduce stress by eliminating unknowns from their trading system, understanding their trading plan and having a clear exit strategy in place before executing a trade. Rich Trader also advises New Trader to adjust his position size if he feels overwhelmed by stress. He explains that if trading a certain number of shares causes excessive stress, New Trader should consider reducing his position size until he is comfortable with the level of risk. Furthermore, Rich Trader emphasizes the importance of testing one's trading system to build confidence. Traders should practice their strategies and practice with paper trading or simulators to gain faith in their approach. The goal is to have a trading system that aligns with the trader's personality and is both comfortable and profitable. The section ends with Rich Trader's tip about limiting risk to 1% of total trading capital per trade using stop losses and proper position sizing. He reminds new trader that each trade is just one of many, and keeping this perspective can help reduce emotional stress. In summary, Part 2 highlights the challenges of managing stress in trading and provides guidance on how to handle stress through careful planning, position sizing, and testing of trading strategies. In Part 3 of the text, new trader wakes up early, excited to trade on a weekday off. He begins by observing the market's pre-market activity and his own stock, SRRS. Despite making an impulsive trade that results in a small profit, he realizes that he needs to follow Rich Trader's advice by reducing his position size and creating a trading plan. New Trader decides to adopt a 500-share position size of $5,000 which he believes will reduce the stress he experienced in previous trades. He also considers the volatility of the stocks he wants to trade and opts for stocks with no more than a 5% daily price range. Despite some initial confusion about his trading motives, New Trader is determined to follow a system. However, as he watches the market and reviews his watch list, he becomes impulsive again and buys 1,000 shares of DMY without a clear reason or exit strategy. Realizing his mistake and the role of greed in his decision-making, he sells the shares for a small profit but ends up paying more in commissions than he earned. New Trader calls Rich Trader for advice and expresses his frustration about making impulsive trades. Rich Trader explains that impulsive trading often arises from a lack of a solid trading plan, impatience, a desire for excitement, or arrogance. He advises New Trader to trade solely for the purpose of making money, not for entertainment or to prove anything to himself. Rich Trader emphasizes the importance of having a trading plan, following a system, and trading based on objective signals rather than emotions or opinions. Rich Trader suggests that new traders should conduct planning and research outside of trading hours and execute trades based on the system during market hours. He emphasizes the need to detach one's ego from trades and trade objectively. New Trader acknowledges that he still has a lot to learn and decides not to place more trades until he has a solid plan in place. In summary, Part 3 highlights the challenges of impulsive trading and the importance of having a well-defined trading plan and system.
It also underscores the need for objective, fact-based trading rather than emotional decision-making. In part 4 of the text, new trader decides to create a trading plan to improve his trading approach. He follows guidelines from a trading book to answer important questions for his plan. 1. Signal for entering a trade. New trader plans to enter trades based on strong trends, buying into price strength and increasing volume. 2. When to sell, he sets a target of $12 for selling his current stock, SRRS, but also implements a trailing stop loss to protect profits. He plans to exit if the stock pulls back by 5%. 3. Risk Management New trader decides to risk only 2% of his trading account on each trade to minimize the risk of significant losses. 4. Trade Size His trade size will be $5,000 with the number of shares depending on the stock's price. 5. Selection of Stocks He chooses to trade in highly liquid stocks with at least 1 million shares traded daily and a daily price range of less than 4%. 6. Duration of Trades New trader plans to hold trades as long as the stocks continue to trend upward. 7. System Testing He acknowledges the importance of historical chart analysis, paper trading, or using a simulator to test his trading system. 8. Expected Risk Reward Ratio New trader understands that trading at this size with tight stop losses requires precise and disciplined entries. He aims to capture significant gains when stocks have strong uptrends. Feeling confident about his trading plan New trader considers the temptation of a more aggressive approach driven by greed. However, he also fears the possibility of losing a significant portion of his capital if he faces a losing streak. He reflects on the advantages of trading for financial freedom and wealth compared to the limitations of his current job. Ultimately, he decides to pursue trading as a path to wealth, emphasizing the importance of discipline and hard work. Part 4 emphasizes the significance of having a well-thought-out trading plan and managing emotions like greed and fear in trading. It highlights the potential for trading to offer financial independence and freedom but also acknowledges the need for preparation and discipline. In Part 5, New Trader, feeling confident about his trading plan, meets with Rich Trader for breakfast. He proudly presents his trading plan. But Rich Trader reminds him that this is just the beginning and that testing, adjustments, and continuous learning are essential in trading. Rich Trader emphasizes the importance of system testing to quantify the performance of the trading plan. New Trader needs to measure his winning percentage and the average size of his wins and losses. He must also test his discipline and confidence in executing the plan precisely. Rich Trader advises New Trader to keep a trading journal to track and analyze his trades, identify patterns in his decision-making and understand what causes both good and bad trades. The journal will help him recognize issues with discipline, ego, greed, fear, and boredom. Moreover, Rich Trader stresses the significance of humility and ongoing learning in trading. He highlights that great traders read hundreds of trading books and spend hours each day studying charts, identifying support and resistance, and understanding market trends. The key to success is to be a lifelong learner, continuously gaining knowledge about oneself, the market, and risk. Ultimately, Rich Trader encourages New Trader to always strive to understand more about trading and the market than he did at the beginning of each day. The chapter emphasizes that trading is an ongoing journey of learning and self-improvement, with dedication and focus eventually translating into financial success. In Part 2, New Trader wakes up early, feeling excited about his upcoming meeting with Rich Trader. He watches the financial news and sees that the markets in Europe and Asia are up, fueling his confidence for the trading day. New Trader has spent two weeks testing his trading system, recording signals for 10 test trades. His journal shows seven wins and three losses, resulting in a profit of $1,650. However, he is aware that more trades are needed to establish the long-term viability of his system. He reflects on the importance of cutting losses, using automatic buy stops, and having a profit-taking strategy based on what he learned during his testing phase. New Trader feels a strong urge to trade, especially with the market showing potential for profits. However, he fights the temptation to trade impulsively and decides to visit Rich Trader instead. At Rich Trader's place, New Trader learns about the psychological aspects of trading. Rich Trader emphasizes the need to follow the trading plan diligently, make adjustments only during off hours, and manage drawdowns effectively. He stresses the importance of approaching trading as a business, not as a form of gambling, and reminds New Trader that discipline is key to success. Rich Trader concludes by warning New Trader that traders who approach the market like gamblers are likely to fail, emphasizing the importance of having a structured approach to trading. The chapter emphasizes the difference between trading and gambling 
With Rich Trader providing valuable insights into maintaining discipline and professionalism in trading. In this chapter, New Trader considers taking bigger risks by trading a larger position size. He contemplates deviating from his trading plan and investing a significant portion of his account into a single trade, driven by the desire for quicker profits. However, New Trader is reminded of Rich Trader's teachings, particularly the importance of focusing on the trading process over profits. He also realizes the dangers of succumbing to greed and the desire for shortcuts. New Trader briefly considers trading call options on SRRS, not fully understanding their nature and risks. He eventually decides against it, recognizing that the trade goes against his plan, and he doesn't fully comprehend the intricacies of options. He pays an unannounced visit to Rich Trader to seek advice on improving his trading plan and managing risk better. New Trader is surprised to find Rich Trader calm and relaxed, not glued to his trading desk, which prompts him to question Rich Trader's approach. Rich Trader emphasizes the importance of not risking too much on a single trade and sticking to predetermined stop-loss levels. He explains how larger losses can be detrimental to one's account and highlights the significance of having a favorable risk-to-reward ratio. Rich Trader encourages New Trader to maintain consistency in position sizes and ensure good risk-reward ratios in his trading. This chapter underscores the importance of controlling trading size and maintaining discipline in risk management. Rich Trader's insights serve as a valuable lesson for New Trader in understanding the dynamics of successful trading. In this chapter, New Trader seeks guidance from Rich Trader on the importance of managing risk in trading. He visits Rich Trader and they discuss various aspects of risk that traders encounter. 1. Trade risk. The risk of a trade moving in the opposite direction of a trader's position, which can be managed through position sizing and stop-loss orders. 2. Market risk. The risk associated with overall market trends affecting individual stocks, highlighting the importance of considering broader market conditions. 3. Volatility risk. The risk stemming from a stock's price being highly volatile potentially causing traders to sell prematurely or experience system failures. 4. Overnight risk. The risk of unexpected events occurring while the market is closed, leading to price gaps that can result in significant losses. 5. Liquidity risk. The risk of trading stocks with low trading volumes, which can result in losses due to wide bid-ask spreads. 6. Margin risk. The risk associated with using margin to trade, which can amplify both profits and losses. 7. Earnings risk. The risk related to holding a stock through earnings announcements, which can lead to rapid price movements and account losses. 8. Political risk. The risk tied to political changes in countries where traded companies operate, potentially affecting their business and stock prices. 9. Time decay risk. The risk faced by options traders due to the gradual reduction in the time value of options contracts. 10. Technology risk. The risk of facing technical issues, such as internet outages or platform failures, during trading. 11. Human error risk. The risk associated with making mistakes when entering trades, such as inputting incorrect order details. Rich Trader advises New Trader on risk management strategies, emphasizing the importance of setting stop-loss levels before entering trades, maintaining consistent position sizes, and adhering to a predetermined trading plan. He also recommends trading slower, more stable stocks, managing overnight risk, and using options with deep intrinsic value to mitigate time decay risk. Additionally, Rich Trader stresses the significance of having backup plans for broker and internet connectivity issues. This chapter underscores that while new traders often prioritize large profits, rich traders prioritize managing risk effectively to ensure long-term success. Rich Trader's insights provide new trader with valuable lessons on risk management and trading. In this chapter, New Trader experiences a significant setback in his trading journey. He had been holding a stock, SRRS, for over a month and had seen it reach a new high at $10.58. However, he woke up one morning to find that the pre-market quote for the stock had dropped to $9.25 due to news about a rival company introducing a superior product. New Trader's initial confidence quickly turned into panic as he watched his profits evaporate. Despite his trading plan advising him to sell when the stock retraced by 5%, New Trader's ego convinced him that he should hold on to the position, believing that the stock would rebound. This emotional attachment to his profits and the refusal to admit that he might be wrong led him to incur substantial losses. As the market opened, New Trader continued to hope for a recovery, but the stock's price continued to decline rapidly. Eventually, he sold his position at a loss of $275. Feeling like a failure, he questioned his ability to succeed in trading. 
However, as New Trader reflected on his experience, he began to understand the importance of stop losses and trailing stops in managing risk. He realized that these risk management tools were like insurance, protecting traders from substantial losses. He also grasped the significance of stop loss placement and the careful consideration required for trailing stops to maximize gains while allowing trends to run. This chapter highlights the emotional challenges and the importance of adhering to a trading plan, using risk management tools, and learning from one's mistakes in the world of trading. New traders' experience ultimately contributes to his growth as a trader. Rich Traders' tip emphasizes the need for traders to mature and maintain a realistic perspective, and the importance of developing a trading plan and putting in the necessary time to learn the craft of trading. In this chapter, New Trader visits Rich Trader once again, seeking guidance and lessons in trading. New Trader is impressed by Rich Trader's demeanor and success, and he continues to learn valuable insights about trading. Rich Trader emphasizes that traders cannot predict the market but can only react to the signals it provides. He advises New Trader to develop an exit strategy as part of his trading plan. The choice of when to lock in profits depends on the trader's methodology and system. Trend traders like Rich Trader tend to use trailing stops to protect profits while allowing winning trades to run. Rich Trader further explains that other traders, such as those focusing on support and resistance or short-term price swings, might have different exit strategies based on their trading systems. He highlights the importance of understanding a stock's historical price action, especially leading up to events like earnings announcements. New Trader realizes the significance of controlling risk and not letting emotions drive his trading decisions. He acknowledges that he made mistakes by not following his trading plan and not cutting his losses when the stock went against him. Rich Trader stresses that a trader's goal should be to make money over the long term by ensuring that winning trades are bigger than losing ones. Rich Trader then shares a list of rules related to the psychology of trading, highlighting the importance of discipline, following the trading plan, and avoiding overconfidence. He emphasizes that reading and adhering to these rules can significantly improve a trader's performance. New Trader leaves Rich Trader's place with a newfound understanding of the importance of having an exit strategy and maintaining discipline in trading. He realizes that learning from mistakes and continuously improving are essential aspects of becoming a successful trader. Rich Trader's tip underscores the importance of exit strategies in trading and emphasizes that profits are made on the exit, not just the entry. Having a plan for exiting each trade before entering it is crucial to managing losses and maximizing gains. Overall, this chapter provides valuable insights into the psychology and discipline required for successful trading and the importance of having a well-thought-out exit strategy. In this part of the book, New Trader takes a step back from active trading and engages in a period of deep study and self-reflection. He is determined to become a successful trader, realizing that this endeavor requires dedication knowledge, and perseverance. New Trader starts by delving into various trading resources, including books, stock charts, and financial publications. He immerses himself in the wisdom of experienced traders, seeking to understand price action and trading systems thoroughly. He backtests and forward tests trading systems with small positions, meticulously recording his results. During his study, New Trader begins to recognize patterns in stock movements and the significance of moving averages. He finds that the 10-day, 21-day, and 50-day moving averages often impact stock prices, while the 100-day and 200-day moving averages serve as support or resistance levels. He observes that smaller companies tend to move more rapidly than larger ones and that charts reveal valuable insights about price trends. New Trader also explores technical indicators like Bollinger Bands, MACD, and RSI, seeking to incorporate them into his trading strategy. He studies various chart patterns such as ascending triangles, head and shoulders, and flags, trying to understand the trader psychology behind these patterns and how they can be used in his system. He realizes that he needs a trading technique with a high probability of success and a favorable risk-reward ratio. New Trader leans towards trading hot stocks and uptrends, as he finds them appealing and aligned with his preference for trading based on a company's fundamentals and market sentiment. As New Trader continues his research, he becomes increasingly drawn to trend trading. He recognizes that price, determined by buyers' and sellers' opinions, is the ultimate reality in trading. He begins to view the stock market as a democracy where volume represents the number of votes in a direction. His dedication to learning leads him to formulate key lessons for growth investing, including focusing on stocks with double-digit earnings growth, 
trading leaders in hot industries, and avoiding illiquid penny stocks. He underscores the importance of risk management, emphasizing the need to cut losses at predetermined levels and stay away from stocks in a downtrend. Additionally, New Trader learns valuable lessons about the psychology of trading, such as the importance of discipline, perseverance, and maintaining the right mindset. He realizes that a trading system's success depends on a trader's mental discipline, and that having a written trading plan and accountability partner are essential. Despite the challenges and the need for continuous learning, New Trader remains committed to persevering until he achieves success in trading. Rich Traders Tip emphasizes the significance of not giving up, especially for new traders who may be tempted to quit when faced with early challenges. He highlights the personal and financial benefits of trading and encourages aspiring traders to persist in their efforts. Overall, this part of the book highlights the importance of continuous learning, discipline, and a strong psychological foundation for trading success. New Trader's journey reflects the dedication and commitment required to excel in the world of trading. In this part of the book, New Trader continues his journey of learning and self-discovery in the world of trading. He values his mentor, Rich Trader, as an accountability partner and a source of guidance. New Trader's commitment to improvement is evident through his use of a trading journal and his determination not to repeat past mistakes. During their conversation, Rich Trader explains his current trading approach, which involves trend trading using stock indexes. He emphasizes that trading style should align with a trader's personality and comfort level. Rich Trader notes that disciplined traders can find success in various trading styles, but they must follow their chosen system faithfully and avoid trying to predict the market. Rich Trader provides New Trader with a valuable summary of trading success. He advises New Trader to 1. Find a trading style that interests them and feels right. 2. Learn everything about that style. 3. Develop a historically profitable system. 4. Create a watch list of suitable stocks or ETFs. 5. Test the system on paper through different market cycles. 6. Begin trading with small positions, gradually increasing size. 7. Maintain a trading journal to understand emotions and behaviors. Rich Trader emphasizes that a trading system should match a trader's risk tolerance and belief in its performance. He introduces a worksheet to track key trading metrics, such as winning percentage, payoff ratio, largest winning and losing trades, average trade size, drawdowns, and more. These records help build faith in the trading system and allow for continuous improvement. Rich Trader shares his personal trading methodology, which includes preferring systems with limited screen time, trading above random price noise, simplicity over complexity, and favoring specific signals like reversion to the mean trades and breakouts. He emphasizes the importance of risk management with position sizing and a preference for trades over portfolios. Overall, this part of the book underscores the importance of aligning one's trading style with their personality and developing a system that they can have faith in and follow consistently. It also highlights the significance of discipline, risk management, and continuous learning in achieving success in trading. In this chapter, New Trader meets with Rich Trader for dinner where they continue to discuss essential trading principles. Rich Trader imparts valuable insights to help New Trader become a successful trader. Here are the key takeaways. 1. Trade based on probabilities, not opinions. Rich Trader emphasizes that successful trading is based on probabilities, not opinions or emotions. Trading decisions should be rooted in a well-defined trading system. 2. Three critical areas for success. New Trader realizes that there are three critical areas for trading success, methodology, risk management, and psychology. Neglecting any of these areas can lead to failure in the trading world. 3. Trading is a discipline. Rich Trader highlights that trading is not about making easy money, but rather about earning profit through diligent work, discipline, courage, patience, and perseverance. 4. Learn from losses. Rich Trader advises New Trader not to view losses as failures but as lessons. Mistakes that result in real financial losses are often remembered and corrected, leading to personal growth. 5. Manage stress. New Trader seeks advice on dealing with stress during losing trades. Rich Trader suggests focusing on trading according to the system rather than counting profits or losses in real time. Stress should be managed by concentrating on following the trading plan. 6. Tips for Success Rich Trader provides several tips to increase new traders' chances of success. Trade in the direction of the overall market trend. Enter trades at sweet spots on the charts, which are points of decision or consolidation. 
become an expert in the trading method and the stocks on your watch list. Trade where the volume is, focusing on stocks and ETFs with high liquidity. 7. Volume and Smart Money Rich Trader emphasizes that money flows into stocks and ETFs with the highest potential for successful trading. Day traders and option writers increase the volumes of stocks and options suitable for their strategies. He advises against falling for hot tips from unreliable sources and recommends sticking with high-volume equities. 8. 5 Dynamics for Success Rich Trader summarizes the 5 dynamics that can help put a trader in the top 10% of consistently profitable traders. Trading with the trend. Letting the system make trading decisions. Identifying sweet spots on charts. Becoming an expert in trading method and stocks. Trading where the volume is. Guide. Focus on price action. Rich Trader's tip is to focus on price action and facts, rather than being swayed by emotions and predictions. He believes that relying on price data and avoiding subjective feelings leads to long-term profitability. Overall, this chapter underscores the importance of discipline, systematic trading, and focusing on facts rather than emotions for trading success. Rich Trader's advice serves as a guide for New Trader as he continues to learn and grow in the world of trading. In this chapter, New Trader continues his conversation with Rich Trader who emphasizes the importance of not trying to predict market movements but instead following what the market is telling you. Here are the key takeaways. 1. Avoid predictions. Rich Trader firmly believes that trying to predict the future direction of prices or the market is impossible and counterproductive. Predicting is essentially gambling and trading should be based on more reliable principles. 2. Focus on the direction of trades. Rich Trader highlights that the key to making money in trading is being right about the direction of your trade. Markets and stocks tend to follow trends with higher highs and higher lows in uptrends or lower highs and lower lows in downtrends. 3. Reading the market. Rather than predicting, Rich Trader advises reading the market. This involves studying charts, recognizing patterns, and reacting to changes in trends. It's essential to pay attention to price and volume, as they are the primary indicators of market behavior. 4. Technical indicators. Rich Trader uses a simple set of tools for trading, including price, volume, candlestick charts, and moving averages. He believes that many complex technical indicators are unnecessary, and that traders should limit themselves to a manageable number of tools. 5. Purpose of a Trading System Rich Trader explains that the purpose of a trading system is to identify signals that indicate the beginning and end of trends. These signals are based on observable patterns in price and volume which reflect human behavior driven by greed and fear. 6. Vote with the majority. Rich traders' philosophy is to go with the majority in the market. Market prices are determined by the collective actions of participants, and successful trading involves aligning with those actions. 7. Avoid arrogance or ignorance. Rich traders' tip emphasizes that trying to predict market movements frequently is either arrogant or ignorant. Instead, traders should focus on following price action and understanding how human emotions influence price movements. Overall, this chapter underscores the importance of trading based on observable market behavior rather than making speculative predictions. Rich traders' approach is rooted in studying historical data, patterns, and trends to make informed trading decisions. In this chapter, New Trader continues his learning journey with Rich Trader, focusing on the concept of trading with the trend. Here are the key takeaways. 1. Understanding market trends. New trader learns about the different time frames for market trends, such as secular trends for long periods, primary trends for medium durations, and secondary trends for short periods. These trends are determined by analyzing price movements, support, and resistance levels. 2. Trend identification. New trader observes that most stock charts exhibit trends over the long term with periods of consolidation or range-bound trading in the short term. He begins to recognize uptrends when stock prices are above the 50-day moving average and downtrends when they fall below the 200-day moving average. 3. Leading versus Lagging stocks New trader discovers that some stocks are leaders with strong uptrends, while others lag behind in downtrends, regardless of the overall market trend. Leading stocks often have high earnings expectations, attracting investment. 4. Causes of trends Rich Trader explains that trends are driven by supply and demand for a stock. Positive news, earnings growth, or market sentiment can drive prices higher, while fear and selling pressure can lead to downtrends. Emotions like greed and fear play a significant role in trend movements. 5. Trend Trading Strategies Rich Trader shares that trend traders focus on identifying trends by looking for increasing volume 
new high and low prices, and breakouts from price ranges. These traders aim to capitalize on price movements within trends without being concerned about the reasons behind them. 6. Risk-Reward Ratios Trend traders can enter positions during pullbacks to improve risk-reward ratios. They identify support levels, such as moving averages, and buy when prices bounce off these levels. They also use various exit signals, such as reaching overbought levels on oscillators, to determine when to sell. 7. Winning Percentage Rich trader emphasizes that trend traders typically have winning percentages between 40% and 60%. Their success comes from winning big and limiting losses, which allows them to grow their equity over time. 8. Staying faithful to the system. Rich Trader mentions that maintaining faith in a trend-following system during consecutive losses can be challenging. However, sticking to the system's rules is crucial for long-term profitability. 9. Technical-based system. Rich Trader's approach to trend trading is purely technical and relies on past performance, price, volume, and moving averages. He avoids trading based on opinions, news, or fundamental valuations. 10. Trading Rocket Science Rich Trader sums up trend trading as finding a rocket and riding it, highlighting the importance of identifying trends and staying with them. This chapter underscores the significance of trading with the trend and using technical analysis to identify and capitalize on price movements within those trends. It emphasizes the importance of discipline, risk management, and following a quantified trading system. In this chapter, New Trader continues to refine his trading system with a focus on developing a set of criteria to identify and trade the best stocks. Here are the key points. 1. Characteristics of preferred stocks. New Trader creates a list of characteristics that he looks for in stocks. Stocks within 5% of their all-time high prices. Stocks with high trading volume. Companies with new products or business models that give them a competitive edge. Stocks with strong earnings and sales growth. Companies expected to continue growing in sales and profits, potentially changing their respective industries. 2. Building a watch list. Using these criteria, New Trader creates a watch list of five stocks that he believes are leaders in the market. All these stocks are in established uptrends, with prices consistently above key moving averages like the 10 day, 20 day, and 50 day. 3. Technical Analysis Tools New Trader uses technical analysis tools to further refine his stock selection process. He observes that the stocks on his watch list typically stay above the 10-day moving average and have not lost their 50-day moving averages in the past six weeks. Additionally, their prices tend to remain along the top of their Bollinger Bands. 4. Developing Trading Rules New Trader establishes specific trading rules for his system. He buys stocks on his watch list as they trend up through the 10-day moving average or bounce off it as support. He sets a stop loss at 5% below his purchase price to risk only 1% of his trading capital on an individual trade. Once the stock starts trending 5% above the 10-day moving average, he sets the stop at the current 10-day moving average, using it as a trailing stop loss to lock in profits. 5. Position Size and Risk Management New Trader decides to trade $2,000 per trade out of his $10,000 trading account to keep his nerves calm and avoid being overly influenced by profits. He plans to increase his position size as his account grows, with the goal of keeping his position size at 20% of his account to limit risk. 6. Market Condition Requirement New Trader includes a rule that he will only trade his system when the broader market is in an uptrend. He checks that the S&P 500 has the 10-day moving average above the 20-day moving average, and the price is above the 50-day moving average, ensuring an overall bullish market condition. 7. Visualization and Belief in Indicators New Trader gains insight into how traders make decisions based on the charts he studies. He believes that certain moving averages and technical indicators are significant because traders watch and act upon them making them self-fulfilling prophecies. 8. Confidence in his system. New Trader feels confident that he has developed a robust trading plan and system for capturing uptrends in strong stocks. He believes that his approach combines fundamental analysis with technical analysis to time his buys effectively. This chapter highlights the importance of having a structured and customized trading system that aligns with one's risk tolerance and expectations. It also emphasizes the significance of using technical analysis and market condition analysis to make informed trading decisions. In this chapter, New Trader continues to learn from Rich Trader and reflects on the important lessons he has gained.
Here are the key points. 1. Learning from Rich Trader New Trader greatly values the mentorship he receives from Rich Trader. He appreciates that Rich Trader doesn't just tell him what to do but shows him how to do it, providing valuable tips and tools to become a better trader. 2. Personalized Trading Systems New Trader understands that trading styles and systems are personal choices that should align with a trader's personality and risk tolerance. He recognizes that what works for one trader, like Rich Trader, may not necessarily work for him, emphasizing the importance of creating a system that fits his own needs and preferences. 3. Control over emotions New Trader has gained more control over his trading and emotions. He no longer feels obsessed with trading or the need to prove himself to others. Others. He has learned that losses are part of trading and that they shouldn't be taken personally. Losses are simply the cost of doing business. 4. Confidence and Discipline New trader feels confident and calm as he approaches trading. He has developed a disciplined approach and believes he is ready to embark on his trading career. He recognizes that having a trading plan and sticking to it is key to his success. 5. Sharing Life Lessons New Trader reads some thoughts from his journal to Rich Trader, discussing how the principles of trading also apply to various aspects of life. He emphasizes the importance of having the right mindset, managing risk, setting realistic expectations, being patient, and continuously learning. 6. Importance of Exit Plans New Trader learns the significance of having exit plans not only in trading but also in life. He understands the value of taking profits when they are substantial, avoiding the common mistake of letting winnings erode. Having an exit plan is crucial to success. 7. Resilience and Perseverance New Trader discusses the importance of resilience and perseverance. He recognizes that setbacks are part of the journey but that those who keep going are the ones who ultimately succeed. 8. Becoming an expert. New Trader understands that success often comes from becoming an expert in one area, whether it's trading, business, marriage, or any other field. He acknowledges the significance of continuous learning and the pursuit of excellence. 9. Process-Oriented Approach. New Trader realizes the importance of basing actions on processes that have led to proven results rather than relying on opinions or predictions. He emphasizes the value of going with the flow of trends that lead to success. 10. Lessons from Past Mistakes. Rich Trader shares a personal anecdote about the difficulty of accepting losses early in his trading career. He learned the hard way that it's essential to stick to plan stop loss levels to avoid emotional roller coasters and unnecessary losses. Rich Trader's Tip Always have a reason to enter and exit a trade. A well-defined trading plan is crucial for success as it prevents emotional mistakes and decisions based on predictions. Learning to accept losses and exit trades promptly is a key aspect of trading discipline, especially when starting with smaller trades to manage emotions effectively. In this chapter, New Trader continues his journey of learning from Rich Trader and refining his trading system. Here are the key takeaways. 1. Independent Learning New Trader has become more self-reliant in his learning process. He visits Rich Trader less frequently and spends significant time every day studying charts, watch lists, and trading books. He understands that building a successful trading career is his responsibility. 2. No Holy Grail New Trader realizes that there is no magic formula or guaranteed profits in trading. He's come to understand that success in trading requires hard work, research, and a customized plan tailored to his own preferences and risk tolerance. 3. Working Smarter Rich Trader emphasizes the importance of working smarter, not necessarily harder. New Trader learns that trading isn't about having a complex setup with multiple screens but about having a well-defined plan and following it diligently. 4. Trend Trading and Risk Management New Trader has settled on trend trading as his approach. Rich Trader reviews his track record and provides feedback. He suggests that New Trader might want to adjust his stop-loss levels, particularly during choppy or downtrending markets, to maintain a favorable risk-reward ratio. 5. Payoff Ratio Rich Trader commends New Trader for achieving a 2 to 1 payoff ratio, where profits are twice as large as losses. He mentions that while real trading might result in slightly lower returns due to factors like commissions and slippage, New Trader's system remains robust and profitable. 6. Taking Profits Before Earnings New Trader shares his experience of selling a winning stock before its earnings announcement, preventing potential losses during unpredictable post-earnings swings. Rich Trader agrees that avoiding earnings risk is a prudent rule to manage volatility. 7. Average Trade Statistics Rich Trader reviews New Trader's average winning and losing trade amounts, highlighting that these numbers are strong indicators of a successful trading system. 
8. Expectations for real trading Rich Trader provides a reality check, suggesting that new trader might experience challenges when transitioning to real trading. He mentions that factors like commissions, technical issues, and market conditions can impact returns and test patience. He expects new trader to achieve lower double-digit returns, especially during bull markets. 9. Shorting in bear markets New trader considers developing a second system for bear markets. Rich trader discusses personal preferences and suggests that shorting might not always be the best strategy. He believes that the long side tends to offer better risk-adjusted returns in the long run, as the overall market trend is upward. 10. Final Approval After a thorough review, Rich Trader confirms that New Trader is ready to start real trading. He reminds him that the market provides valuable feedback, and New Trader's success will depend on his ability to learn from the market's lessons. 11. Golden Rules of Trading New Trader shares his golden rules of trading, emphasizing principles like capital preservation, risk management, trading with the trend, following a plan, and learning from mistakes. In conclusion, New Trader has evolved and matured in his trading journey, and he is ready to put his skills and knowledge to the test in the real market.